I have a T4 fracture in my spine. T stands for thoracic and it's one of the vertebrae and that's directly opposite my chest. And that fracture means that I've got very little feeling and no control over most of my body below the fracture line. The care I've received at the um, Spinal Injury Centre has been mostly around getting me to be independent. And to start with, I had very little um, movement in my right arm and um, everything was extremely weak. All my muscles were, had lost their strength. I'd lost a certain amount of muscle mass um, and I could do very little for myself. The Spinal Injury Centre staff therefore did an awful lot of things for me, but from the first day were encouraging me to try and do things myself and telling me how to do them. Um, as I got a bit stronger and I moved into a ward with other people, um, I started to get more of the mainstream treatment in, um, with uh, physiotherapy in the gym, hydrotherapy in the swimming pool that they've got here, um, occupational therapy, and all sorts of other things, to be honest. Um, they try out a lot of things to see what works for you and stick with it when it seems to be working. And um, consequently, I've got a lot more strength back in my shoulder, this side, for example, and my right hand um, is now in much better shape than it was when I arrived. It was unusable then, but now I can do all sorts of things with it. I'm still receiving a lot of the same treatments that I was initially, but more of it and it's more intensive. The, the physiotherapy is really aimed at trying to give me better strength in my joints, in my muscles, and the final objective is really to try and get me more independent, more mobile, more able to do things for myself. I will be in a wheelchair, and so I have to learn how to transfer from a bed to a wheelchair, from a wheelchair to whatever, and these are the sort of skills that I'll be, I'll be learning from now on. There's very much a team effort where patients like me are concerned. There are a number of therapists who work with me and we have every three weeks a goal planning meeting. And in the goal planning meeting, we decide what we're trying to achieve for me in the next three weeks. And we have some discussion obviously about what the ultimate goals are. Um, it's very useful having this um, and does lead to a more focused effort on the bits that really need work. I'm in a bay with four other patients and um, there's, a, there's a lot of joking, a lot of sometimes gallows humour as well, but it's, um, it's a very interesting, instantly formed community when you get shoved together as patients, but you have this common problem of a spinal injury. So we do talk quite often in some detail about our challenges and we try and help each other around that. Um, the, the nursing staff and the, the care staff take part in this as well. There's a very good humoured camaraderie that we get in the ward and um, it is a very nice atmosphere to be in in that sense. I think the, other, the only other thing that I have noticed which I think could be improved is um, communication and making appointments, keeping diaries, um, I think that could be done more electronically. Most people these days have a smartphone, they have a, an email address which is linked to a calendar account, and they could easily just accept calendar invitations from whoever is organising the schedule of all of the um, therapies. I've had very good medical treatment, very good rehabilitation treatment from some very experienced people, and you know, what more can you ask for? But I, I have really no complaints to make about my time at Stoke Mandeville um, because I think it's been a very fruitful period of time. It really is helping me to recover my life.